Breaking on 4 News now at 6. A 12-year-old in Spokane has been arrested for threatening his classmate. Where those threats were made and how the school kept students safe. Rain, snow, and grapple. I'm tracking all kinds of showers right now. But I'll tell you about a quick break in the wet weather in the first alert forecast. A bill to allow youth centers to withhold certain information from parents is heading to Governor Inslee's desk. Why opponents say it cuts the parents out of the conversation. You're watching 4 News Now at 6 o'clock. We start with that breaking news. A 12-year-old boy from Yasuhara Middle School now facing charges for threatening to kill his classmate. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. And I'm Aaron Luna. The school went into lockdown yesterday and police were called to make sure the student was safe before starting their investigation. According to SPD, the threats were made on social media. It included a depiction of a gun. It also included text that suggested the boy was targeting a specific student. Police eventually went to the suspect's home and arrested the boy. This is a developed story. We'll update you as we learn more. New at 6 o'clock, the sale of assault style guns is just a signature away from being banned in Washington. The Washington House and Senate have passed the bill. Supporters see the ban as a victory, saying communities are being devastated by gun violence. Critics, including Spokane County Sheriff John Knowles, say lawmakers need to readjust their focus to the mental health crisis that he says is driving the shootings. Well, there's a controversial bill headed to Washington Governor Jay Inslee's desk. If signed, Senate Bill 5599 would allow youth centers to bypass biological parents and notify the state's Department of Youth and Families if a child shows up at their facilities seeking reproductive health care and gender affirming care. Under the state's current law, licensed youth shelters must contact the person's parents within 72 hours unless there are, quote, compelling reasons not to. Our Peter Choi spoke to both supporters and opponents of the bill and joins us in studio now with how this could impact families. Yeah, the people who I spoke to tell me they want the best for kids and parents. Supporters say this could be life-saving for trans youth, while opponents say it could cut parents out of important and potentially life-altering uh, uh, decisions. Providing free clothes, meals, and access to health care. Local youth center Odyssey Youth Movement in Spokane is for kids identifying as LGBTQ+. As we do programs on things like LGBTQ plus history and culture, um, and we have a number of resources in the space as well that are always free for them to access. The organization's outreach manager, Chetler Wheeler, welcomes Senate Bill 5599. I would have had nowhere to turn. As someone who identifies as transgender, Wheeler says they understand some of the frustration Willa believes this bill could help children, particularly trans youth who don't feel safe at home. So, so let me ask you this. Do you think this bill is life-saving for kids? Absolutely. Um, I think it's life-saving because, to be honest, it's way more risky if a kid goes to a shelter, they call the parents, the parents come pick them up, and then they can't access their gender-affirming care anymore. Um, I mean, and that's like best-case scenario with that, right? Like. They can no longer get HRT, okay. That is still really life-threatening for a lot of youth who need their bodies to reflect who they are. These are our children. And yes, we are not going to agree with everything that they do or every choice that they make, but that doesn't mean that we don't love them and it doesn't mean that we don't want to take care of them. Opponents, including the Washington State Catholic Conference, I say this bill would undermine the relationship between parents and children. When the children are um, seeking these other services, you know, we do think that the the uh, parents should be involved and um, and be able to lead and and guide their children. The organization says it cares about the LGBTQ plus community, but it wants to have parents to be part of the conversation. The state Senate voted to agree on amendments made by the state house and now the bill is heading to the Governor Inslee's desk. It will go into effect 90 days after being signed into law. In studio tonight, Peter Choi, 4 News Now. Peter, thank you. 25% of Coeur d'Alene Public School jobs and two elementary schools are on the line if voters don't approve a $25 million supplemental levy next month. On Friday, the school board will likely declare, declare a financial emergency and hundreds of teachers and support staff will find out they need to start searching for a new job. It's a people business. That's what schools are all about. So unfortunately, to make any kind of budget cuts, it's primarily people. 
The superintendent says the reason for declaring a financial emergency before the vote is to give the staff plenty of time to find a new job during hiring season. Tomorrow, the school board will find out how much money the state will be providing, but the superintendent says it's not clear if there's going to be enough to prevent hundreds of layoffs. Let's take a live look now over downtown Spokane. Those spring showers are in many forms tonight. Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker to see what's expected next. Well, as you take a look to the west, you can see skies are beginning to clear, but it is a different story if you look in the other direction. In fact, on I-90 and Argonne, we've got some wet roads there, overcast conditions in Liberty Lake with some showers on the way. Here's a look at our radar. We're zoomed way in, and I've been watching uh, showers moving across division to the east and seen some heavier precipitation uh, with that as it's moving to the east. Meanwhile, around Liberty Lake, some lighter rain with heavier precipitation up around Hauser. It's rain, snow, grapple. We have seen it all today and continue to do that. Here's a look at our satellite and radar, the broad picture. Now, we are going to see all of these showers once again, just like we did yesterday, taper off as we see the sunset and we lose our daytime heating. Here's the forecast radar. Skies clearing overnight. That is going to allow our temperatures to drop below freezing in most locations again for tomorrow. Here's a look at your evening forecast. Expect clearing skies and dropping temperatures 37 degrees uh, by 11 o'clock on our way to an overnight low of 30. I'll be back to tell you about a quick break in the wet weather before the next round of rain and snow moves in tomorrow night. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. More charges for the Spokane County man involved in a shootout with deputies near Moran Prairie Elementary School. Well, those charges include robbery and a charge for threatening to kill his mother. New court documents detail they were for two separate events that happened before the standoff. All of it centers around Jeremy Bosch's home on South Glen Rose Road, or Glen Rose Road, yeah, in Moran Prairie. And that's where our Rania Kaur joins us now with the newest information, Rania. Aaron Kirsten, take a look behind me. That home, almost a week later after the standoff, is still boarded up. Gunshots were fired into the window and the garage. Tonight, we know that Jeremy Bosch is still in the hospital, according to new court documents. He was shot by deputies in the torso and also received a leg injury the night of the shootout and standoff. Deputies and witnesses say Bosch shot back at deputies, but none were hit. That shooting ultimately led to the standoff. But one big thing the court documents reveal is the Saturday before the standoff, Bosch was already being charged with second degree robbery and unlawful imprisonment for a completely separate incident. Three days later, on April 12th or last Wednesday, that's when court documents say Bosch pointed his firearm at deputies, also adding two counts of second degree assault. In court documents, deputies were able to get Bosch to come out of his home on Thursday by firing a chemical agent into it and then tasing him. Law, enforce law enforcement agencies involved in shootings like this typically handed over to another investigation in order to avoid conflict of interest and to increase transparency. The Spokane Police Department is now taking over the investigation. In South Hill tonight, I'm Rania Kaur for News Now. Thank you, Rania. Still ahead, summer may feel a very long ways away. And with that <laughs> comes extreme heat. We break down a new report to see which groups are the most vulnerable when temperatures become dangerous coming up. And a push to protect the mental health of young men. What one mother says you need to do if you think your child is struggling. That's next on 4 News Now at 6. Four news now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. SUVs, Wendell Nissan has them. Murano, Rogue, Pathfinder, Armada. Even certified pre-owned Nissan SUVs. Some with 0% financing. The best service at the best prices. It's SUV month at Wendell Nissan. Home, it's both a place and a feeling. At yours, you strive to make new memories, create traditions, share stories, find the fun, embrace the surprises, and celebrate moments big and small. Memories are made at home, in every room, in every moment. 
Make your house feel like home at the Tin Roof. Winning the $56,000 Fred's Appliance Upgrade at Northern Quest could change a lot about your kitchen. But eating your feelings in front of the fridge at 2 a.m., oof, that's still on you. Don't miss the $56,000 Appliance Upgrade at Northern Quest every Thursday in April. Get one free entry daily with your Camus Rewards card and play for even more. Details at northernquest.com. With prices of natural gas and propane skyrocketing, your heating bill is getting out of control. But before you turn down the heat, give the experts at Bill's Heating and Air a call. They have the latest in dual fuel technology to keep your family comfortable and utility bills low. And there's never been a better time to upgrade because now every furnace purchase comes with a free AC or heat pump. So call Bill's Heating today to get your free heat pump while supplies last. SUVs, Wendell Nissan has them. Murano, Rogue, Pathfinder, Armada. Even certified pre-owned Nissan SUVs. Some with 0% financing. The best service at the best prices. It's SUV month at Wendell Nissan. Next DT, we're with Chris Evans and Ana de Armas for the premiere of their new movie, Ghosted. What's not to love about her? She's so good at everything she does. Plus, how does it feel to be here? <laughs> it feels good to be anywhere. <laughs> stars and fellow icons celebrating 90 years of Carol Burnett. She brings out the worst in me <laughs> and I bring out the best in her, I think. <laughs> Next, DT. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. Um, I just come right out and ask them, are you thinking of suicide? That's, I mean, the, the studies show that that's the way you need to handle it. That is Kimber Erickson. She lost her son, Kellen, to suicide in 2020, and following his death, she and her family wanted to do something to help boys like Kellen and started the Kellen Cares Foundation. The foundation helps families and anyone who works with young men navigate mental health issues and have those difficult but very important conversations. This Saturday, the Kellen Cares Foundation is hosting the second Helping Boys Thrive Summit to help anyone get the help and resources they need to save lives. Tonight at 6, Bronte Swarovski joins us in studio with what attendees can expect and how to be more open about mental health with your kids. Well, this Saturday will be the second Helping Boys Thrive Summit from the Kellen Cares Foundation. Kellen's mother, Kimber, tells me she wants to be able to speak with parents, to hear what they're going through, what their kids might be struggling with, to give them hope that there is something that can be done. Kellen thought he was the only one. And he wasn't. Mental health issues affect everyone, and boys are four times more likely to die by suicide than girls. Just too many, too many kids in general dying, but um, boys in particular dying of suicide. After Kellen's death, his family knew they needed to do something right away, which is why this Saturday, the Kellen Cares Foundation is hosting the second Helping Boys Thrive Summit to help young boys struggling with mental health like Kellen did. You know, I, there's a lot that I've learned since, I, I, and um, I wish that I had known when I was raising my son and my two daughters, for that matter, because um, they just do learn differently, and I, I really wish that I had, um, had had something like this to go to. Last year, over 200 people showed up, all wanting to learn more about having these difficult, yet necessary conversations about mental health. I want them just to gain some more confidence about being open with their kids. Kimber says, if you're worried about someone, you need to be upfront. Um, I just come right out and ask them, are you thinking of suicide? That's, I mean, the, the studies show that that's the way you need to handle it. If you see somebody struggling, um, just ask them that, and it's not going to put the thought in their head um, like a lot of people think. This year's summit will include breakout sessions that are age-specific, as well as a Q&A similar to Dr. Gurian and Pastor Tim Wright's podcast, where the two will answer questions with strategies parents and those working with young men can use. When people leave the summit on Saturday, Kimber says she wants parents to leave with hope. We can actually do things to help. This year's Helping Boys Thrive Summit will take place this Saturday at Summit Church in Spokane. Information about attending will be up on our website, kxoy.com. Live in studio, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now.
We hit 50 degrees today in Spokane, but our average high is closer to 60 degrees. Meanwhile, right now it is raining at the airport in Coeur d'Alene and 43 degrees, mostly cloudy and 46 in Spokane. I'll be back with your seven day forecast. Download the 4 News Now app today. 4 News Now is brought to you by Granite Concepts of Lewiston. At Colville Toyota, the pups are always sniffing out a deal that works best for you. Plus, our entire team is customer focused. If you want a hassle-free, simple, easy, enjoyable, and quick customer service, take a scenic drive to Colville Toyota. We're customer-centered and here to help you with the new Toyota car, SUV, truck, and our mix of certified and used vehicles. Colville Toyota, where it's easy to buy, easy to do business with. We're your small-town dealership with the big heart. I just don't think STCU could handle us. We've grown a lot. Can I be frank with you? Not just because that's my name. Now we've upgraded our tools, team, and bring a fresh perspective. So what's your pitch? Slow down a bit. Growth's great, but uncontrolled growth, now that can be dangerous. And how could growth be bad? You ever seen a six foot tall third grader sitting on Santa's lap? It's weird. This is some sort of reverse psychology. You can't drive 80 miles per hour down a highway that's not finished. You don't want to eat a grilled cheese. I would have stopped at the first one. I didn't know where I was going with that anyways. I get your point, but I don't need STC to help us slow down. True, but we're happy to offer strategy and advice until you do need us. Sometimes, what's best for you doesn't boost our bottom line. Sounds like STCU actually cares. <laughs> we do. All right, three, two, one. I feel like we've had a breakthrough here today. STCU Business, partner up. Tomorrow, live on GMA, go with Ginger to one of the most crystal clear bodies of water anywhere and face to face with the most gentle giants. Oh, and see a stunning release back into the wild you won't forget. Tomorrow, only on Good Morning America. The Sweet Palace in Phillipsburg, making it fresh for you now, six days a week. Come and see us. New at 6 o'clock, take a look at this newly unclassified video from a Reaper drone in the Middle East. You can see it tracking what kind of looks like an orb flying through the air. This is just one of more than 600 cases of UFOs being investigated by the U.S. government. I should also state clearly for the record that in our research, Arrow has found no credible evidence thus far of extraterrestrial activity, off-world technology, or objects that defy the known laws of physics. Well, that was the head of the Pentagon's all-domain resolution office, which is charged with focusing aerial sightings, whatever that means. He also told lawmakers that about 100 <laughs> of those cases were... Chris knows. <laughs> weather balloons. Yeah, or weather balloons or something similar, but those cases are still being investigated. Yeah, I didn't see it in that I didn't particular. See it we were all like kind of like land. this, like <laughs> trying to squint and see the monitor. I've seen some things mm -hmm. someday. We get a lot of calls from people who see things. We do, especially right before the 11 o'clock newscast. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, the sky is dark at that time true. where you can see things. But, oh my goodness, speaking of seeing things, I'm seeing some things on the radar right now. Let's zoom right in. And, uh, boy, they have been falling in a variety of forms today. Rain, snow, grapple, you may have seen it all at your house. A little bit heavier precipitation right here along South Pines Road. You may have some grapple there, but these showers are in general tapering off for a quiet night, partly cloudy, but cold. 30 degrees for an overnight low, 51 for a high tomorrow. Again, our average high is 58. Partly cloudy to start the day, overcast conditions by this time tomorrow, and eventually we're going to start to see some rain. Here's a look at our forecast, the big picture, upper level trough, keeping things unsettled throughout the west. You can see these spatter 
painted uh, showers across the region. No real rhyme or reason, and they will taper off. High pressure builds in for a quiet day tomorrow. Should be dry across the region until tomorrow night as our next fast moving front zips through, bringing a quick dose of rain and snow, snow even down in the valleys, mainly because of the timing. Here's our forecast radar, and we'll bring that rain in tomorrow evening. This is 9 o'clock, mostly as rain to start, but then transitioning to snow, particularly in the valleys of North Idaho and in the Northeast Mountains. By 7 o'clock on Friday morning, that will be confined to the very most northern valleys, but... As we have been doing in the afternoon, we'll see those instability showers, those convective showers cooking up again and uh, before they taper off again Friday night. We're in a pattern here. One day break from the afternoon convection. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the 20s and 30s. Want to point out Lewiston, 35. Even though you're above freezing, there is still a freeze warning in effect for the Lewiston area and parts of Garfield and Asotin County. Uh, the growing season already underway down there in the banana belt. Uh, we're not quite planting yet up in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. So even though we're colder, we're not part of the freeze warning. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the 50s. Should see more 60s on the map this time of year, but there's nary a one. Meanwhile, your planning forecast. Wet weather comes in late Thursday, lingering showers on Friday, but there'll be a pretty good break between Friday morning and the afternoon convection. Dry on Saturday, the next system is coming in late Saturday and into Sunday, and that looks more like just plain old rain as we'll start the day off in the 40s, a high of 55. A warming trend in the forecast. Look at those 60s. I love it. We'll be back up around average on Tuesday and Wednesday with dry conditions. And our long-range forecasts are coming into stronger agreement that that warming trend will last for a little while. We'll get some 60-degree weather um, and enjoy some more pleasant springtime temperatures. Meanwhile, I'll be back in the next half hour with some amazing Wildlife Wednesday photos. Kirsten? Thank you, Chris. The Spokane River, in all its glory, has a danger lurking in its waters. Tomorrow morning, 4 News Now partners with ABC News for a day-long Earth Day special called The Power of Water. We'll focus on one of the biggest threats in the Spokane River for the people who rely on it. It was the perfect chemical. It didn't burn. It lasted forever. And because we used it and it was very uh, resistant to being degraded, we now find it all over in the environment. And that's a big challenge for us. What that chemical is, how the city of Spokane has gone above and beyond to clean it up with the state-of-the-art technology, and three things you can do right now to help. We begin our Power of Water coverage tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest, starting at 5 o'clock. Still ahead, teens are getting hands-on experience on what a future in the automotive industry could look like. Hear from one young adult on what it was like for her to get into the industry coming up on 4 News Now at 6. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. The color of lilac is often used for the region, a hue between red and blue. But we think it's the color of the huckleberry that is the most special to the Inland Northwest. Just look for the purple, now at Rosars. Put some spring into your step with Great Floors. Shop exclusive specials throughout our showroom on carpet, luxury vinyl, and cultivated wood. Save on Karistan carpet, only $20.23 for a whole home installation. Our huge selection and expert team are here to help you recreate the perfect look and feel of your home. Great Floors offers 12 months, 0% financing, so you are free to select the exact flooring you want. Visit a showroom today and live life on Great Floors. If you've been looking for a new vehicle in the current market, you may be hearing things like extra charges, added accessories, or second sticker. Not at Coeur Honda, we make it easy. We'll keep you posted till your new Honda arrives, give you a fair value for your trade, and give you a lifetime warranty at no additional cost to you. Well, that was easy. Come meet the team and purchase your next vehicle at Coeur d'Alene Honda. And don't forget about our lifetime warranty. Call today for our available inventory and check out our website at cdahonda.com. 
Looking for some fun? Then come play for the day at the Coeur d'Alene Casino and discover new ways to win big inside the new Discovery Den, the first and only video game testing room in the U.S. with many of the top manufacturers in the world under one roof where you get to play them first and decide which games stay and which ones don't. You will set the trends for the future of gaming only at the Coeur d'Alene Casino. Welcome home. If it seems each Rose Arms is a little different and unique, it's because they are. Rooted in the Northwest since 1934. And launching the first supermarket in the region. We've grown organically. With each neighborhood store, we added Scratch Bakery, Service Deli, Service Meat, Local Produce. Then, we were the first in the Inland Northwest to offer an organic and natural market, Huckleberries. And now we've brought Huckleberries and our experts to each neighborhood Rose Arms. Like Lincoln Heights, Five Mile, The Y and more. It's our people that make the difference. At your local neighborhood Rosar. Along with Huckleberries, naturally the best. Just look for the purple. Four News Now is brought to you by Jacobs Custom Living. New at 6 o'clock, the governor of Oklahoma is calling for four officials from one small town to resign for making racist comments and threatening to kill a father and son team of local reporters. One of the journalists published an audio recording where the officials can be heard talking about beating, killing, and burying him. ABC's Melissa Don has more. The small town of Idabel, Oklahoma is now facing national scrutiny after four local Oklahoma officials have been accused of making racist remarks and allegedly made reference to killing journalists. That's according to Bruce Willingham, the editor-in-chief of the McCurtain Gazette newspaper, who recorded and released the audio files. If it was back in the day, would that, that, when Alan Marshy take a like that, whooped her throw him in the cell, I'd run for chair. Yeah. Well, like According to Willingham, the voices heard on the recordings are the McCurtain County Sheriff, a district commissioner, a sheriff's captain, and jail administrator. The release of the audio leading Governor Kevin Stitt to call for their resignations and prompting community protests. Today, Commissioner Mark Jennings did submit his resignation. Investigator Alicia Manning, along with Sheriff Kevin Clardy and Administrator Larry Hendricks, have been suspended from the Oklahoma Sheriff's Association, which means they they are not certified to work in the state as law enforcement officials. Willingham tells ABC News that the audio was captured by a recorder, which was in the room during a public session of a county commission meeting in March. We actually told the truth. I've known two or three hit men, the very quiet guys. ABC's Morea Villarreal met with Willingham, who says the more than three hour long recording grew aggressive. They talk about uh, beating my son and I. Then the commissioner says, well, now I'm talking about pre dug holes. And a few minutes later, he says, I know some hitmen in Louisiana. The Sheriff's Department releasing a statement calling this a complex situation. While they do not address the recorded discussion, they say many of these recordings have yet to be validated, alleging the audio recordings that have been released have been altered. Melissa Don, ABC News, Los Angeles. Around the nation tonight, 84-year-old Andrew Lester has pleaded not guilty to felony assault charges for shooting a 16-year-old who was mistakenly ringing Lester's doorbell. Police say Ralph Yarl was trying to pick up his siblings but went to the wrong address. Lester's defense team says he shot Yarl through the glass door without saying anything because he thought the teen was trying to break into his home. He's back in court in June. That shooting was at least one of three where human error was met with gunfire in the U.S. The latest case is out of Texas where two cheerleaders were shot after one of them got into the wrong car after practice. Police say Pedro Rodriguez allegedly fired at Peyton Washington and her teammate Heather Roth when Roth accidentally got into Rodriguez's car by accident thinking it was her own. Roth suffered minor injuries but Washington had to be airlifted to the hospital was trying to apologize to him. And then he, uh, I just, halfway my window was down, he just threw his hands up and then he pulled out a gun. And then he just started shooting at all of us. In New York, a 65-year-old man is being charged with murdering 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis. Investigators say Gillis was riding in a car that was shot at while turning around in the suspect's driveway while trying to find her friend's home. 
A bill to make to-go cocktails permanent across Washington is one step closer to becoming law. What still needs to happen to make that dream for some a reality coming up on 4 News Now at 6.30. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Parenting can be hard under the best of circumstances. Vanessa Behan is on a mission to surround children with a safe, healthy community. Any family can find themselves in need of a supportive place during a stressful time. We are here for them in that moment and beyond. Numerica Credit Union is honored to partner with organizations like Vanessa Behan as they work to enhance lives, fulfill dreams, and build communities. Check out more organizations that make our community stronger at numericacu.com. on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Friday through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2023 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. It's time to replace your old tub with a new shower, but you don't want the hassle or the worry of getting it finished. You just want to pick a style and relax, knowing that it'll be wonderful when it's done. Is that too much to ask? No, actually it's not. Rebath, from start to stunning. Call us or visit rebath.com and save $750 of your tub or shower replacement. The new way of teaching kids how to swim with their clothes on. It's very important that they learn how to swim in the heavy clothing. Next, Inside Edition. Put your head all the way back. Simulating real life conditions if they fall into a pool. How this method can save so many lives. Amazing. Good job, Julia. Then, the latest on the teen shot after ringing a homeowner's doorbell. Watch the next Inside Edition. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. Well, there are good paying jobs out there for young adults who are looking for other options than spending four years at college. And the automotive industry might just be that opportunity. Right now at Spokane Community College, families are learning all about the world of car repair from engine work to body repair. And our Vanessa Perez is live there tonight with those new opportunities. Well, there are lots of companies hiring at this event and it's 100% hands-on. So you can change out a tire and even do an oil change. But the hands-on experience goes beyond tonight. Natalie strips the paint off this car, a skill she's learning in her collision and refinishing technician program. She'll be graduating high school with more than just her diploma. She's also receiving an associate's degree. Uh, I grew up uh, working on cars with my uh, grandpa and I just thought it's been my dream since I was like three to come and work on cars and I'm finally being able to do it. Finally got the uh, opportunity and so I'm taking it. The program starts with body work then on to heavy collision. Labrette White plans to return to the community college after high school. Learn more about everything in this trade and so I have more expertise and I could do uh, more jobs on the side and uh, be able to earn money and just help out the community and stuff. You also don't have to be a technician to work in the industry. There's a business and finance side too. Companies have a simple ask. 
What it takes is the will to show up every day on time and to put in hard work. And that's really the number one thing that this industry has talked to us about is we just need people that will show up to work every day. Edmondson says East Valley Schools talks to students about career pathways, letting them know they have options. Too often we talk about college and it deters kids from going to college and so and, and deters them from realizing that there are viable pathways that don't include a college degree. And so um, absolutely, that, that's what this night is all about is exposing those kids to those opportunities. Like Natalie, who's receiving hands-on experience of the industry. Now, this event runs through 8 p.m., but if you're not able to make it tonight, there are many other events planned in the coming weeks, weeks including an automotive skills challenge and also trades nights involving medical and the construction field. Live from Spokane Community College, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now. A live look over downtown Spokane. Looking south, looks like a beautiful evening. We do have some hit and miss showers around the region, but they will not be around for long. And here are four things to know about your forecast. It's going to be a cold Thursday morning as the skies clear. Temperatures will be dropping down below freezing, partly to mostly cloudy skies on Thursday with rain and possible snow coming in late. No little to no accumulation of snow expected in the valleys and then a showery Friday, particularly in the afternoon and evening, a day very much like today with those showers developing in the heat of the afternoon and then tapering off in the evening, which is what is in progress right now. They'll, they will linger for the next uh, couple of hours or so before we dry out. Temperatures are already cooling down quickly. We're at 43 in Coeur d'Alene, 46 degrees in Spokane. It's 44 right now in Pullman and 50 in Lewiston. Your Thursday planner, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies to start the day. Then the clouds increase in the afternoon and evening with that rain and snow on the way. I'll go over the timing on that precipitation and have some Wildlife Wednesday photos for you in just a few minutes. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. Well, in 2021, Washington saw its deadliest weather event in state history when 157 people died from extreme heat, including 19 people here in Spokane. Our 4 News Now weather team led by Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker partnered with researchers at Gonzaga University to collect data that could help more people stay out of that extreme heat. 4 News Now's Natalie Grant's breaking it all down. The summer of 2021 was especially deadly here in Spokane as a heat dome settled in over the city and cost over 100 people their lives. But new research out of Gonzaga University is shedding light on other factors that could have played a role in people's preparedness for the heat. And they're recommending some changes to make sure everyone is prepared next time around. Summer of 2021 was a hot one, and for those without things like fans or air conditioners, it was a challenge. Um, it was there was a real reluctance for people to be able to leave their homes. Of the capacity that we created, only about 10% of the capacity was actually utilized. Leaders with the city of Spokane say they tried to meet people where they were through things like cooling centers, but the centers were barely used. There was a reporting ad nauseum about those those heat concerns and the tips and all those different things. For whatever reason, they were not heated, so we need to be able to work on a different strategy. Since then, researchers at Gonzaga's Climate Center have been putting their boots on the ground, hoping to provide concrete data to help target communities. Extreme heat kills more people every year in America than any other extreme weather event. So I think that there's a level of uh, awareness and information that needs to be put out into the community and fully understood. Now, through their thorough research, the center found that extreme heat conditions have the biggest impact in lower income and racially diverse neighborhoods, places that are most likely to become heat islands. We saw that uh, overnight there was almost a 14 degree difference between two neighborhoods that uh, may have been adjacent to each other. I don't think we were really expecting to see differentials that large. Now going forward, the folks here at Gonzaga tell me that they're partnering with the city to implement these strategies as we head into these summer months and even for years to come. Reporting on Gonzaga campus tonight, Natalie Grant, 4 News Now.
Well, to-go cocktails could soon become permanent in Washington. A bill just needs Governor Inslee's signature to become law. The pandemic era law that was meant to keep restaurants and bars afloat during the pandemic. It's going to expire June 30th. The Spirit Council says consumers across the state have enjoyed cocktails to-go for the last few years. And making this option permanent increases convenience while supporting local businesses. This weekend, the Spokane Police Department is teaming up with the Drug Enforcement Agency for National Drug Take Back Day. It's happening Saturday at the North Town Mall, and they're going to be accepting any old medications that you have. That includes pills, patches, or any other solid form of a prescription drug. According to the DEA, this helps keep these medications off the streets and fights addiction. The DEA says because of, or since it began, Drug Take Back Day has helped get rid of over 8,300 300 tons of medication. If you missed the event at the mall, SPD has three secure drop box locations available year round during business hours. You can drop them off at the Spokane Public Safety Building on Mallon Avenue or the police precincts that are on North Market Street and West First Avenue. Speaking of vehicle repairs, like we did earlier in the newscast, the Spokane Valley Fire Department has opened a new maintenance facility. The new 140,000 square foot space includes six bays where city mechanics could make much needed repairs to fire trucks and perform routine maintenance. The city saying their previous location could only work on three fire trucks at a time, making maintenance in the winter extremely difficult. Washington State basketball coach Cami Etheridge will have a new job this summer. We have the details coming up at 4 News Now Sports. Download the 4 News Now app today. 4 News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. Your life revolves around your home, family, and backyard. It's your world. Shape your world with The Plant Farm. They'll help you select the healthiest plants, flowers, shrubs, and trees for your backyard. Enhance your patios and front entrance with the stunning Plant Farm signature hanging baskets. And shape your world indoors with the largest selection of unique specialty house plants. Shape your world with The Plant Farm because life is better in the garden. No matter where you are in your financial journey, we're here to help you along the way. Open a free Ascend checking account and you can earn 3.50% APY on balances up to $15,000 with no minimum balance required. Bring your finances to new heights with our checking that pays you dividends. Get your account today at p1fcu.org slash Ascend. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. Come to Chihuahua Casino and cruise home a winner. You could choose keys or cash. Play your favorite games to earn entries. The more you play, the more chances you have to win. Earn bonus entries on Sundays in April for even more chances to win. You could win a 2023 Chevrolet Trailblazer or $25,000 cash. Join us for jackpots, food, and fun at the place that treats you right, Chihuahua Casino. Look at this baseball field and this one. How about this one? Which one is next for a 4 News Now Extreme Team Diamonds and Dreams makeover? How about yours? Go to KXY.com and tell us why your field deserves a makeover. Diamonds and Dreams brought to you by your hometown Chevy dealers and Horizon Credit Union. You can prepare as much as possible, but whatever you imagine, something else will happen. Patty and I have been together since 1984. Patty got diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2012. Having a caregiver helps with still being in a relationship. There's all sorts of expenses. Renting the bed and the tilt and space wheelchair. The money's going to be there, just like health insurance, and hopefully you don't ever have to use it. Walk cares will help you take care of yourself. Today's the field trip to the Franklin Institute. And it's a sleepover. Our first sleepover. It's girls is players too. Just kiss and get it over with. Yeah. You need to be better about hiding things with your face. I just want to have a good night. Hold up. Oh, I had a fun drive out to Reardon today to visit Mr. Monick's pre-calc class. And uh, we were talking about the algebraic grids, the matrices that go into our modern day computer models that help us do the forecasting. They are working on a unit on matrix algebra. And 
it's actually something you will use. <laughs> They're really nice class. And uh, thank you for welcoming me. And Mr. Monick, thank you for teaching a wonderful profession. Mark Boat. It's Wildlife Wednesday time. Share this photo of some very relaxed bighorn sheep. Uh, just check and mark out. They might probably know him. They're not the least bit concerned, but uh, looking good uh, there. Wonderful photo, Mark. I've never seen a bighorn sheep in person. I would like to do that. Allie Ray spotted this dramatic scene of uh, some coots swimming for their lives and flapping away. They were all huddled together and then the bald eagle started swooping in to join the party. I don't think his intentions were good, but no coots were harmed in this photo near elk, Allie uh, assures me. Mountaintop shared this picture of some American white pelicans. One, evidently very bored with Wildlife Wednesday. Huge yawn near Harrison. And finally, Shannon Verity spotted a bunch of beavers along, or beaver along a creek down there near Tico. They were chewing on twigs and then they noticed Shannon, sort of freaked out, and her dog hopped in the water and started beating their tails against the water to warn the other beavers that there were trespassers in their midst. We are zoomed in on Doppler radar right now and seeing some uh, stronger showers around the mica area producing some grapple might even see some hail and wouldn't completely rule out an isolated rumble of thunder still this evening but for the most part our showers are beginning to taper off we're dry right now in Spokane and uh, should stay dry although there are a few showers still upstream around the Moses Lake area we're seeing some precipitation coming up from the Tri-Cities as our sunsets are uh, atmosphere is going to lose a lot of the energy fueling these convective showers and we'll see them taper off dramatically. They will return in the form of rain and possible snow tomorrow evening. Here's a look at our forecast radar starting off 24 hours from now and we will start to see that rain and possible snow moving in late tomorrow evening. That will continue through the first part of the overnight before drying out Friday morning. Many locations will see the transition to snow even in the valleys with little or no accumulation any accumulation will likely be in those northern valleys and then the convective showers return Friday afternoon for that potpourri of rain snow and uh, grapple here's your planning forecast showers on Friday after a dry Thursday, at least most of the day will be dry. Saturday, we get another break from the wet weather with the system coming in Saturday night and into Sunday. Now, we're going to be warm enough that I think we're just going to be dealing with rain on Sunday into Monday. Warmer weather ahead for Tuesday and Wednesday. Back up in the 60s, that's average. And indications are that will be the trend heading into the following week. Aaron? Thank you, Chris. Climate change is threatening water supplies across the western U.S., but the story in the inland northwest is a little more complex. Tomorrow, 4 News Now partners with ABC News for a day-long Earth Day special called The Power of Water. Beneath our feet, the Spokane Valley Rathrum Prairie Aquifer contains 10 trillion gallons of water. But climate change will make tapping into the aquifer more difficult. And if we have less uh, snowpack, then the amount of water recharging the aquifer, the amount of water recharging the river diminishes and that's going to be a problem for water providers to be able to get that water to everybody's faucet. We'll show you how the Spokane River and aquifer will change and how you can help save water when it's needed most tomorrow on 4 News Now at 5. Everyone is invited to the new Doris Morrison Learning Center near Liberty Lake. It's this Saturday for a live raptor show, scavenger hunt, and you have a guided walking tour. The Learning Center is at the Salties Flats Wetlands, where Spokane County has been working to restore the wetlands for more than a decade. Before being drained for farming, the area was a natural lake. Today, the county celebrated the opening of the Learning Center, named in honor of Doris Morrison, whose family ranched the land before selling it to the county for conservation. And my dad always had a vision that there was something better to be done out here. And uh, I have to hand it to him. 
you know, because he could have easily just sold the thing and been done with it. Well, he's talking about Bud, his dad, Bud Morrison, sold it to the county with one condition, that a learning center be built and named after his mom, a longtime teacher. If you want to check it out, the grand opening is Saturday. It starts at 10 a.m. Here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. SUVs, Wendell Nissan has them. Murano, Rogue, Pathfinder, Armada. Even certified pre-owned Nissan SUVs. Some with 0% financing. The best service at the best prices. It's SUV month at Wendell Nissan. Has your dishwasher let you down lately? Then see the latest Bosch dishwashers at Fred's Appliance. Fred's also has models you won't find at the box stores. Bosch means quality and innovation. New Bosch dishwashers quietly deliver sparkling dishes. With features like third rack and a new drying system that even dries plastic, Bosch raises the bar for dishwashers. Fred's has more dishwashers in stock than you'll see anywhere. Come in and see us today. I just don't think STCU could handle us. We've grown a lot. Can I be frank with you? Not just because that's my name. Now we've upgraded our tools, team, and bring a fresh perspective. So what's your pitch? Slow down a bit. Growth's great, but uncontrolled growth, now that can be dangerous. And how could growth be bad? Have you ever seen a six-foot-tall third grader sitting on Santa's lap? It's weird. This is some sort of reverse psychology. You can't drive 80 miles per hour down a highway that's not finished. You don't want to eat a grilled cheese. I would have stopped at the first one. I didn't know where I was going with that anyways. I get your point, but I don't need STCU to help us slow down. True. But we're happy to offer strategy and advice until you do need us. Sometimes, what's best for you doesn't boost our bottom line. Sounds like STCU actually cares. <laughs> we do. All right, two more. I feel like we've had a breakthrough here today. STCU Business. Partner up. Bill's Heating and Air, your locally owned factory direct and voted number one HVAC contractor, wants to become your go-to heating and air conditioning company. We offer free estimates and next day installs. And now we will beat any and all written estimates from any other licensed contractor. Yeah, you heard right. We will beat any other written estimate. Oh, and did I mention we have a 10-year parts and labor guarantee? Call now for your free estimate. SUVs, Wendell Nissan has them. Murano, Rogue, Pathfinder, Armada. Even certified pre-owned Nissan SUVs. Some with 0% financing. The best service at the best prices. It's SUV month at Wendell Nissan. 4 News Now is brought to you by Northern Quest Resort and Casino. Well, it seems like spring football just started and now we're already entering the final few days of practice. Welcome into sports. I'm Julian Minnesota. Eastern Washington is more than halfway done with spring camp, but just because the practice time is winding down doesn't mean the players are taking it lightly. The Eagles have one final scrimmage on Saturday before next week's spring game. Head coach Aaron Best says the team is ahead of where they were last spring, but there is still a long way to go. The Eagles are still working with new presumed starting quarterback Keikoa Vicepiris, among other positions. The plan is for the guys to leave it all out on the field in these final practices before the long off season. The physicality this spring has been huge. I mean, we've done a lot of team reps this spring, but I think it's been good for us. It's uh, showed us how we're really going to be playing football next year, and we've raised the intensity a lot. Guys are going harder in practice. You got a long time to recover till the fall after, so they kind of just go out there and leave it all on the line. Um, like, yeah, they're your teammates, you don't want to hurt them, but at the same time, you got to prove something. Eastern Washington spring game is at 6 o'clock on Friday, April 28th. Team USA has a new women's basketball coach, and she's right from our own backyard. Washington State's Cami Etheridge will be the head coach for the USA Women's America Cup team this summer. Etheridge's team, USA squad, will compete at the 2023 FIBA Women's America Cup July 1st to the 9th in Mexico. Etheridge has previous USA basketball experience as a coach and player. She's a 1988 Olympic gold medalist. Etheridge was named the coach of the year by The Athletic this season. She led the Washington State Cougars to their first Pac-12 tournament championship in program history. The last week has been a roller coaster for the Seattle Mariners. The team swept the Colorado Rockies and just when it looked like they were turning things around, 
They lost two straight to the Milwaukee Brewers. Seattle looking to avoid the sweep against Milwaukee. Julio Rodriguez gets this one out in a hurry. Seattle takes a 2-0 lead off the home run by Rodriguez. To the seventh inning, Seattle leading 2-1. Uh, not anymore. Bryce Terang knocks one into left field. Two runs will come across to score as the Brewers take the lead. It was part of a five-run seventh inning for Milwaukee. The Mariners had a chance in the ninth inning last night to win the game. They couldn't do it. Bases loaded in the ninth here. Jose Caballero with a chance to be the hero, but he pops it up. No magic on back-to-back -back nights for the Mariners. Tough one to lose. Seattle is swept by Milwaukee. Five to three is the final. The Mariners will look to turn things around against the St. Louis Cardinals. Three-game series starts Friday at home. And the Spokane Indians fall to the Tri-City Dust Devils this afternoon. 4-2 to two is the final. The Indians have four more games against the Dust Devils before returning home on Tuesday. And that'll wrap us up for sports. Julian, thank you. Bumpy skies ahead for airline companies. Industry leaders warn the ongoing pilot shortage will only get worse. Many pilots are aging out of the workforce, and expensive training is keeping new recruits away. The Regional Airline Association is calling on Congress to raise the mandatory retirement age from 65 to 67. No data shows a pilot is unsafe at 65, but this arbitrary line forces qualified pilots to retire when they have much to offer. Most airlines have yet to fully restore the service cuts they made during the pandemic, even with record break or record bookings at some carriers. That combination is driving prices up. 4 News Now, we'll be right back. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. She was looking so fine. Five, five, thinking that style. Everybody. Where's the butler? It's John Butler. Hate being judged by your name? So do we. At Consigned Furniture and Jewelry, we're not what you think. Our inventory is the best in the Northwest. Like this. And this. And this. Check out the most unique shopping experience in the universe. When I was told I had a brain tumor, my life disappeared in a moment. I feared for my future, but even more, I feared for the ones I love. How would they move on without me? But when my doctor told me about the Gamma Knife of Spokane, everything changed. I can get my brain tumor treated in just one day and continue living the life I love. Because of Gamma Knife, I have hope. Be advised. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to save 40 to 80% on a hot tub and swim spa Friday through Sunday. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2023 inventory. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. See the revolutionary swim spa. You can exercise, swim, and relax without the expense and maintenance of a pool. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. 18-month interest-free financing. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833 spa sale. Lease a new 2022 Buick Encore for just $199 a month. It's perfectly sized to handle whatever life throws at you. The Encore features premium LED lighting, game-changing cargo space, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, advanced safety technologies, and more. The Encore will get you there in comfort and style. Visit us online at GeeBuickGMC.com or come see us for a test drive. We're just off I-90 at George Gee Buick GMC, the top-volume GMC Buick dealer in Washington State. We all have causes near and dear to our hearts. That's why at Horizon Credit Union, we are dedicated to giving back, supporting local charities, expressing our not-for-profit values, investing in you and our community. Because your path is our purpose, and together we make a positive impact. Discover the difference. Horizon! Open your account today. Visit hzcu.org slash discover. 4 News Now is brought to you by Colville Toyota. Coming up on Nightside, banks have tightened their lending standards why it could be harder for you to get a loan. And what caused an explosion inside a Seattle apartment building this morning? That's tonight at 11. Showers will be tapering off later this evening for a dry Thursday. Then the rain and snow returns Thursday night into a showery Friday. Temperatures will be in the lower 50s for the next couple of days. Our average high is getting close to 60 now. 
We'll be back there soon. They're distracting us with that 60 when I heard rain and snow overnight. I, was like, I also heard Friday. <laughs> she mentioned Friday. Oh. <laughs> Getting kinds of things.